Hey guys, just wanted to shoot another video of a uh, electric skateboard that I'm putting together. Um, this is my second one of these. I did one a couple years ago. Uh, it was my first time and uh, it was also a method board. Um, same truck kit, um, speed control, same motor. And uh, I rode it for a while and I really enjoyed it and I ended up selling, um, I ended up selling the truck kit and all the parts, electronics and stuff for it because it was I don't know, I was into another project and I wanted to get some money for something else, so I kind of missed it, so I decided to put another one together. So um, I was going to use the original board because I still have it. This is the old method. I'm not sure what the brand is, but uh, it's a little bit different style. It's actually a couple inches shorter than this new one that I got, but um, the wheelbase is almost exactly the same. I think the wheelbase on this board is maybe a half inch longer. But the overall uh, length is about three inches uh, longer than the original. And uh, so I ordered the truck kit. Comes with the two trucks, front and rear trucks, the rear with a motor mount, and the wheels, bearings, pretty much everything um, besides motor and electronics. And that was from uh, this company here, uh, DIY Electric Skateboards .com. And I actually got a better deal this time on this kit than the last one. I think I paid $225 last time for this kit. And uh, it was this time it was on sale for $199. And uh, if you'll see from some of my previous videos, the, um, the trucks have changed and the heart, everything has changed on this. I think this may be like the third or fourth version of this kit that uh, they put together. And I think these are called the Caliber trucks. And the original kit had Parish trucks. So the shaft here was... Uh, completely round, and then it had a, a welded on motor mount right here. Um, this new kit uses these trucks that are, they're kind of, they're like a half round and then they've got like a flat spot on the bottom, and it uses this clamp right here, which has that same shape, and the motor mount also, it's all aluminum, looks like it's all machined, but uh, I really like the new kit because there's more adjustability. The motor still moves forward and backwards, but you can actually adjust this motor plate back and forth and also this way up and down so you can uh, mess with your clearance right here you can change this angle make this go up or down depending on how much space you have here when you turn and also how much ground clearance you want to have here between your wheels and uh, the motor the motor bracket depending on if you have really big wheels you may be able to turn this up flatter or if you have real small wheels you, you can point this down and so, yeah, I used the same same motors I did before, the Turnigy SK3, uh, 6374, and uh, I wanted to go with a little bit higher KV this time, but they were out of stock. The only one they had was the 149, which I used last time, and it was a pretty good motor. Just didn't have um, quite as much top speed as I wanted, but um, it was okay. I think it was like 18 miles an hour. And so I just bought that one, and I'm going to use that for now. And if I get bored of the speed, then I'll just I can bump it up to something with a little bit more KV. Um, but it's a good torquey motor. It's got a lot of torque for heavier riders. And I think at the time I was like maybe 220 pounds, and I've uh, lost a little weight since then. I'm down to like 185, so it should be just fine for me. And electronics box is just a uh, um, like a screw organizer dispenser thing. I can't remember if I got this from Lowe's or Ace. Um, using the same, this is actually the same Hobby Wing 150 amp speed control. Running it on 6S, two 3S LiPos to make success. And these batteries are different than the ones I was using before. I had a 5000 mAh and these are 5800. So it should give me a tiny bit more uh, run time. And then the speed control, or not the speed control, I'm sorry, the radio. I think last time I was using an RC car radio that was team associated. This time I have one of these uh, GT2E Fly Sky radios. They're from Hobby King. Uh, I had one in an old RC boat, and I'm going to use this for now until I can get something a little bit smaller. So, anyways, that's it. Um, just want to take a quick video before I get it out and get it dirty and kind of show you guys uh, put it back together. Another thing for this uh, speed controller, uh, it was a little bit too high for this uh, box, and it actually worked out because I was able to cut a hole here for the um, fan, so the fan can put through through the top and get some circulation to the speed controller. So that's it. Going to take it out, take it for a spin.